Okay then boys, today I'll be doing a player analysis on the new Declan Rice Fantasy FC card. So before we jump into the actual analysis, let's just have a look at how much you think it's going to get upgraded. So Arsenal, two wins in the next four. Yep, 100% they're going to do that. Unless they've got really hard running games, which they don't. Um, so yeah, definitely going to get that. He'll probably play three times. He, you know, he hasn't actually not played a game for them in so long. Um... And if the club scores 11 goals in the next four, so let's have a look at their games quickly. They've got Sheffield, Brentford, Porto, and oh, Man City. Um, if they beat, well, they're on red hot fire at the moment, so they probably get like five against Sheffield. So, um, yeah, that is very possible for them, actually. And Brentford are awful at the moment as well. So they, they could get 11 goals in the first three games, to be honest, boys. They do it right, the way that Arsenal are playing at the moment. So this could be a possible four um, upgrades, as Declan Rice does get a few assists here and there. But I would say that it is rare for him to get an assist. And I don't think that he'll get that one. So we're going to say with, with 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 good luck, he'll get to a 93, which is also a very nice. So let's actually jump into the analysis then. Starting off with his height, 6 foot 1, not ideal. But it is actually okay for a CDM there. We don't mind that. He can play medium high, 4 star, 4 star, mostly lengthy. Um, Yeah, that's a good start. I don't mind that. Keep him in CDM, boys. He'll be all right. Don't play him centre mid. Uh, and then in terms of linking, it's going to be a piece of piss for the English Premier League, Arsenal, all of that brilliant stuff. Love it. 87 pace. It's really, really nice. And uh, only 82 acceleration, but that is okay. We don't mind that. Shooting's mid. Passing is okay there, boys. It's actually very, very nice. Um, because obviously it says 82 and you're like, no, the passing's awful. But he's got 91 long pass, um, a 91 short pass, 92 long pass, and then 85 vision. So it's okay. We've got 85 dribbling here, and the only reason it's not higher is because of the agility and balance, which it could let you down a bit, boys. But personally, I don't really mind having low this year. It's, you know, it fits in with the lengthy sort of database and that. It's not really impacted me. I had the Sebastian Coat as about 40 accelerate, uh, agility and 40 balance, and he's actually been really good for me. So it might not matter too much in there. Then the defending's brilliant, and then the physical's also amazing. So we've got eight play styles, two play style pluses. I've already seen the one that's my favourite. We've got intercept plus, and then my personal favourite um, for defending, and it is anticipate plus. That is absolutely amazing, boys. We've got six left, so we've got block, ping, pass, power shot, long ball, press proven, and aerial. So let's have a look at the price of this card. 3.4 mil, boys. Um, yeah, I would say steer against this one. It's, it is just looking like a bit of a shit Yaya Torre. But obviously, if he's going up to 93, and you really back yourself that he will, and you really want him then maybe get him, but this is probably the worst, you know, value one I'd seen yet. 